Hello and welcome to the workout. Today I've got for you full body strength circuits. It's my absolute favorite. I love this workout. So you are going to need a handled resistance band, a set of dumbbells, maybe a light, moderate, and heavy set of dumbbells. We're gonna be doing two full body circuits. Each circuit is six exercises. We're gonna go through those six exercises with no rest in between. We're then gonna take a one minute rest and repeat the first circuit. Then we will move on to the second circuit of six exercises. Your job is to count out 12 repetitions for every single exercise using a weight load where the last two repetitions are challenging. Now listen, if you're new to my workout, so happy to have you here, welcome. The thing is, I see my role as inspiring you, teaching you, guiding you, giving you some good cues. So sometimes my counting is not exactly on point. That's why you are a big girl and you're gonna count out your 12 repetitions for every single exercise. For unilateral exercises, like our single leg deadlift, that's gonna be 12 reps on each leg. Let's get it started. We're gonna go through a short little preparatory sequence just to get your body moving, get the muscles firing, open up some key joints, and then we will jump into the workout. Let's take a nice big inhale up, reaching way up to the ceiling or to the sky if you're outside with me, and let's do that again. Big inhale up, stretch it out, Exhale it out and let's do one more. Big inhale up, keep your arms up over your head, breathe naturally. And now I want you to exhale and reach up for your ceiling, reaching, lengthening up, 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 up as much as you can, very actively and relax it down. We're gonna do that one more time. Feet are comfortable, on go. You're gonna take your arms up over your head and you're going to actively lengthen out your body, creating as much space between your vertebrae as possible. Take your arms up over your head and reach. I want you to reach as high as you possibly can, creating as much space between your rib cage and your hip bones as possible, really lengthening it out. Up, 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 up and relax it out and let's come into some spinal rotations as you turn away i want you to actively um, contract your glute on the leg that you're turning away from so your right glute your left glute really activate your glute as we come into the spinal rotation that creates a solid foundation for your spine to rotate around and you can just let your arms release and go where they go and just enjoy this rotation. Tummy is drawn in, releasing some of the stickiness through your spine. Ah, oh, it just feels so good. Spinal rotation is so good when it's done in a controlled manner. And let's do one more and relax. Bring your feet together. Lower your center of gravity by bending your knees. Keep your knees bent. Bring your body weight over to your right leg. Find your balance. Now, if this is challenging for you to just stay here and hold your balance, I want you to stay right here. If this is easy, you're gonna start to look around your space. I want you to look around your space intentionally trying to throw your balance off. I want you to have to fight to hold your balance. And if this isn't hard enough for you, you've got to intentionally throw your balance off. Look around your space, look up, look down, look all around. You're gonna feel your right leg start to fire up. That hip's gonna get warm, your foot's gonna get activated. You might even get some warmth in the bottom of your arch. Look all around, really throwing that balance off. Keep this leg bent, relax it out. Same thing on the other side. Feet together, drop into that knee, bring your body weight over to your left leg. So if you notice, I'm able to come on to this leg and I, I, I don't have the balance issue sometimes. <laughs> so I don't have a big balance issue, right? But the whole point of this exercise is for you to have to fight to keep your balance. So if just standing here is easy, you've got to use your vision just like that to throw your balance off so that you have to fight to hold your balance. This is a strengthening exercise. It's a highly functional exercise for the leg, the foot, the ankle, the arches, the knee, even your core. 
And so I want you to really, really put your intention into this exercise, keep the knee bent, and just fight to keep your balance. Tapping down when you need to, obviously, no problem. Using your arms to counterbalance, make sure this knee stays nice and bent. You're gonna feel glute medius really fire up and relax. Take your feet separated, look down, make sure that your feet are truly parallel. Bend your knees, hips back, and let's come into a side to side lunge. I want you to really think about pushing your hips back, reaching them back behind you, sitting nice and deep. So we are firing up the leg that we're sitting into. We're giving an active and a dynamic stretch to the inner thigh on the leg that's straight. Really just sit deeply into it, keeping your chest lifted. As this starts to feel good, you can sit deeper, bringing your hand across that toe to really sit down into this movement. It should feel good. You should feel your lower body starting to warm up and get ready for that workout. Focus your body weight and the pressure into the heels of each foot. Let's do two more. <clears throat> One more. And you're gonna bring your feet together, combining our first exercise where you reach way up to your ceiling. I want you to then step back into a reverse lunge. Push into the front leg, reach for the ceiling, Step back into the other leg reverse lunge, and let's continue. You're gonna continue alternating lunges at a speed that feels good for you today. Really reach, 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 reach right there before you come back to that reverse lunge. Big reach, driving into the front heel right here, letting your back knee just gently release to the ground. This is another great move to bring your heart rate up. It's gonna open up the hips. It fires up the glutes and the hamstrings. It feels good, it gets your core activated. So good. This gets us ready for an exercise that's gonna appear in the workout. And let's do two more. One more, and relax. Let's go into the workout. I'm gonna show you quickly each of the six exercises before we get started. That way, if you wanna move faster than me, you can. You can move faster or slower based on your mood today, based on what your body needs today. First exercise, with or without a dumbbell is single leg deadlift. I will demo it and guide you again when we get to it in the workout. Second exercise, handled resistance band. You're gonna stand on it, bend over, <clears throat> shorten the band, and we've got a bent over row for back. After that, grab your dumbbells. We've got a shoulder exercise, overhead, alternating press. Third exercise, heavier dumbbell, goblet squat. Next exercise, heavier dumbbell, tricep extension. And the last is a modified push-up from the floor or from an elevated surface if you have it. We'll go over that when we get there. Are you ready? Are you ready for the fun? Let's jump in. Single leg deadlift is first. You can do this body weight only. <clears throat> you can do it with one dumbbell. You can also do it with two dumbbells. Choose your, pick your poison, and let's get started. So you're gonna start with your feet together, bend your knees, and from here, you're just gonna come forward about halfway, come up and squeeze your glute. 12 reps right here. Now, if you're new to this exercise, I want you to think about it um, as a standing leg exercise. Put all of your mental focus into the leg that you're standing on. Keep that knee slightly bent. Squeeze your glute at the top right here. You can use one dumbbell, 
two dumbbells, no dumbbells. You could even use a barbell if you want for this exercise. Just make sure you're keeping your knee slightly bent, shoulders back and down, 12 reps. Let's go to the other leg. Again, you're gonna move at your own pace. This is not a typical workout that you would find out there in the world. My workouts are a little bit different. This really is a strength-based exercise. Um, so, uh, well, strength-based workout. So it's important that you're finding challenging weight loads. I want these 12 reps to be hard for you. This isn't a typical high intensity, kick your butt, sweaty, drippy, high heart rate workout. This is a strength workout. And it's based on the quality of each repetition. So grab the heaviest weight load you can do with good technique. One more. And we're going into our next exercise. Grab your handled resistance band. We've got a back row. Put that band right between your feet. You can either use your handles or shorten that band. Make sure you've got a little bit of a bend in your lower back, pulling your hands right up to your rib cage. I want you to really think about bringing your shoulders towards each other here. Keep a little bit of a curvature in your lower back. Keep your chest up body weight in your heels, and really think about drawing your shoulders towards each other, pausing at the top for a moment to really exaggerate that contraction. One more, dumbbell, overhead press, alternating. Moderate dumbbells starting at your shoulders, one up, one arm is up, one arm is down, and we're gonna swap. Swap and swap. Tummy is drawn in. Stand nice and tall. Challenge yourself with a dumbbell here where those last four repetitions, okay, the last two on each arm are actually work where you gotta go, ooh, oh my goodness, right? I want that weight load to be such that you gotta really work on those last two reps, still keeping pretty good technique, okay? But if you could keep going at the end of the set, your weight load's not heavy enough. Okay, should be almost close to 12 here. Let's do one more each arm and we're going into goblet squat. Grab a heavier dumbbell. Heels are about hip distance. Turn your toes open. Look down, you want your toes turned open for this exercise. Dumbbell is in contact with your upper chest. Sit your glutes down, sit your hips down so that your hips end below your knees. Drive into your heels, squeeze your glutes. We got 12 right here. Squeeze your glutes. Drive into your heels, squeeze the glutes. Standing super tall, super tall. Ah, oh, doesn't that feel good? This is such a good one for hip mobility. Make sure your toes are turned out a little bit. And at the bottom, try really hard to keep your chest lifted. Chest is up, squeezing the glutes. After this, we've got a dumbbell overhead tricep extension. Heavier dumbbell, the one that you're using for goblet squat should work. Here we go, right into, dumbbell is up over your head, knees are soft, drop that dumbbell down towards your shoulder blades and press, draw that tummy in. If this is easy, grab a heavier dumbbell or grab a second dumbbell, double them up, you can do that, okay? 12 reps, drop your shoulders, down towards your hips. I want you to keep your shoulder blades releasing towards your hips. Super, super important. 12 reps and then we're gonna go down to the ground for a modified push-up. Here we go. Now, if you have a bench or a couch or a chair, you can do an elevated angled push-up. I'm not a huge fan of a full proper military push-up. 
We won't get into why, but if you know you've got a good proper push-up, go for it. And you're gonna do a full military push-up for 12 reps. Instead, I really like a modified push-up where we start from the ground. Bend your knees, hands are outside your chest, draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Push off the floor a little to activate and then lift up and come all the way to the ground. Push off the floor, lift up and back down. Push off the floor, lift up, back down. We got 12 right here. The reason why I teach it like this is to protect your shoulders. When you push into the ground to activate before lifting, it puts your shoulders into a very safe place to complete this whole movement. Again, if you know you've got a great push-up, go ahead and do your full military push-up. In my experience now, 30 years of coaching women um, and humans in general, honestly, there's not a lot of people that actually have a perfect push-up, okay? And that's why I like to modify it. It's more effective and it keeps your shoulders healthy. From here, when you're done, bring your feet together, tuck them under. I want you to shift your weight back. We're gonna rock back and forth to improve some foot mobility. That is our first circuit. Those are the first six exercises. We're taking a short little rest here, and then we're gonna go back and repeat all six of those exercises. We're gonna take advantage of this right now to improve some foot and toe mobility. If this is easy for you and you don't have any discomfort in your toes or your forefeet, go ahead and put your knees down on the ground and I want you to sit back and really sit into the flexion that you're putting into your feet and toes. If this is painful for you, you've got to be working this every single day. If this is painful, that's an indication that your feet really need improved mobility. From here, I want you to tip back, slowly stand up as soon as you get there, lift your knees 10 times. We're gonna get ready for our second circuit, the same six exercises for a second round. Now, if any of those exercises were easy for you, take a minute and go grab some heavier dumbbells to make sure that you can really have to work for those last two repetitions on every single set. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. I'm taking my weight loads up today. Single leg deadlift. Once again, you can do this with a single dumbbell or two dumbbells. For those of you guys that are here with me every week, you'll notice I'm doing them with two dumbbells. Go ahead and grab two just to add some variety. Knees are bent and here we go. Rotating forward, squeeze your glutes. Make sure when you come up here, you're actually coming to a full stand. I want you to come all the way up right here where you're fully standing, getting your posture to really perfect posture, bringing your shoulder blades together. Keep that front leg bent. The focus and the emphasis is on the front heel. Really doesn't have anything to do with the leg that's moving. And we got one more and we'll go right to the other leg. Right to that other leg, switch feet. Bend the knees, okay? Keep that standing knee bent, coming over. You're only bending over so that your dumbbells or your hand ends at the depth that is between your ankle and your knee. The goal is not to try to reach the floor here. I have a lot of people misunderstand this exercise and they think that the goal is to actually bend over all the way so that you could tap the floor. That's not what we're doing here. We just want to bring your torso almost parallel with the floor so that we can keep tension on the glute of the leg that you're standing on. Two more. 12 reps each side, grabbing your handled resistance band, band row. Either use a heavy enough band so that it's challenging or just choke up on the band that you're using to make sure you've got some good resistance here. 
Slight arch in your lower back. Row your elbows back. Think about bringing your hands to your rib cage. Drawing your shoulder blades back towards each other, but also keeping them pressed down towards your hips. Chest is open, tummy drawn in, spine is long. Give me a pause at the top there. Third exercise is gonna be your overhead dumbbell alternating press, one arm at a time. Are you ready? Grab the dumbbell that's right. Feet are under your hips. This is a big move, it should be challenging. One arm starts up, one arm down, and let's swap. 12 on each side. Keep your chest lifted. Release your shoulder blades down towards your hips. Even though we're pushing the arms up, I don't want you to let your shoulder girdle move upward. We want your shoulder girdle to stay released down towards your hips. Moving at the speed that feels right for you, but listen, if you can move faster than I'm moving right now, your dumbbells are not heavy enough. Your dumbbells should really slow you down. It should slow you down, and if it doesn't, it's not a challenging enough weight load. Follow. Fourth exercise, goblet squat. Same thing, this weight should be heavy enough that you can't move quickly. Toes are turned open, soften your knees, chest stays up, sit until your hips are below your knees. Drive into the heels. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Make sure at the top you're finishing off the exercise right here by getting your hips under your shoulders, by tilting your pelvis under, and by squeezing your glutes. 12 reps. And then we're gonna go into that overhead tricep extension with a heavy dumbbell, probably the one that you're using right now. Here we go. Going right into dumbbell overhead, tummy drawn in, bend at the elbows and extend. So because this is two arms working with one resistance level, one dumbbell, you generally can use oh, a heavier weight load. So I'd love to have you at at least 10 pounds here, but ideally 15, 20, maybe even 25 pounds on this exercise, depending on your fitness level and your skill level. And relax. Push-ups, remember what I said on that first set. If you're newer to push-ups, please do them elevated. And unless you have a perfect military push-up, Please join me starting down on the ground, heels to butt, thumbs are just outside the middle of your breast line, shoulders back, we push, then we lift, and come back down. Push, then lift. What that little push does is it retracts your shoulder blades and it activates the chest even before we begin to move. So the big injury that we see all the time on push-ups is at the shoulder. And so by pre-activating the shoulder girdle here, before you press up, it really helps to protect the shoulder. But guess what? It also makes this exercise more effective for your chest, your arms, and your core. Okay, tuck those feet under. Let's do our foot mobility exercise one more time. That was your second full body circuit. So if you want a harder workout today and you're moving faster than me, go ahead. If you wanna do a third round of this circuit, go for it, especially if you're watching in playback because you can always pause the workout, go through those six exercises and then join us for the next circuit. Right now, we're just taking a short little rest. You should need a little bit of a rest, okay? 
And from here, I want you to slowly come up, lift your knees, walk around your space, get a drink of water. I'm gonna show you the next six exercises that go for our next circuit. Similar theme, it's full body. We've got some leg, we got some upper body, and you're definitely gonna need a couple sets of dumbbells. First exercise, with or without dumbbells. Feet are together, we're doing a reverse lunge, alternating sides. This is the exercise that we prepared for in our warm up. Alternating reverse lunge, with or without dumbbells, and those dumbbells can get nice and heavy. Second exercise, shoulders drawn back and down, hammer curl. So you are pulling your dumbbells up, keeping your palms facing each other, but listen up, you gotta get your shoulder blades drawing back and down. Third exercise, heavy dumbbell. Toes are turned way open. It's a plie and a press, 12 reps. Plie and press. Moderate weight dumbbells. Feet under your hips, shoulders back and down, slight bend at the elbow, side raise. Last two exercises, we're going down to the ground. First is a renegade row <clears throat> from the top of a push-up. You're gonna draw them through your tummy and you're gonna pull your dumbbell up to your rib cage. Now, if this, if this is too hard for you, you can also come from a push-up position and just bring your hand up towards your shoulder, swapping sides. You don't have to use the dumbbell here if this is hard for you. So that's definitely a challenging exercise. Last, you're gonna be on your back and we've got an ab exercise. Lifting up, we're gonna do bicycles, alternating for a total of 15 on each side is 30. Are you ready? Starting with that reverse lunge, six exercises, no rest in between, let's get it started. With or without dumbbells, let's start that alternating reverse lunge. You're gonna do 12 on each leg, so that's a total of 24. You can count out 24 steps if you want, or you can count out reps per leg to make sure that you get 12, okay? So that would be one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, or count them out one, two, three, four, five, up to 24. Keep your body weight really focused over your front heel. So this exercise really is about the front leg. It's not about the back leg at all. Keep your chest lifted, drive into that heel. <clears throat> 24 in total, using a weight load that's challenging, but doable, and it helps you to have to work hard, but keep your technique solid. Dumbbell hammer curl, feet together, draw your shoulder blades back, push them down towards your hips, come up, keeping your palms facing each other. Give me a pause at the top, right here. You pause and really contract your biceps. This pause increases the time under tension for the exercise and that allows you to get more out of this exercise without having to work harder. Increase that time under tension. Feels so good on the front of the arms. Third exercise, heavier dumbbell, plie and press. So because this is a big exercise, you're gonna want 10, 15, 20. Some of you are gonna be doing 30 pounds on this exercise. Toes are turned open. Heels are definitely wider than your shoulders. We're gonna do a proper plie and then a press. 12, proper plie and press. Keeping your chest up. Big reach. And again, that weight load should be challenging, okay? 
It should make you have to really work. It should bring your heart rate up. 12 reps here. Next exercise will be your dumbbell side raise with moderate weight load. You ready? Here we go. Dumbbell side raise. Oh, if you know me, you know this is one of my favorites. Okay, listen up. Shoulders back, shoulders down. Keep a little bend at your elbow, straight out to the side. If you're working with five pounds or less, I want you to pause, then release. Hit your position, then release. This is going to make your arms look amazing. It's a shoulder exercise, but it's really got a huge effect on how the arms look. After all these years training people, it took me a long time to figure out that if you want your arms to look good, a big part of it is actually about improving the deltoid, not the biceps or the triceps. Those are important, but deltoid is everything. We're going down to the ground for that renegade row and then our alternating bicycles. Now, when you come down for that renegade row, like I said, because this is a hard exercise, you can use dumbbells if you want, for sure. You can also just start from a push-up position and you're gonna bring one hand to your ribs. You might need to move a bit more slowly on this exercise. And now listen, part of the goal of this exercise is to not shift your weight from side to side too much. You're gonna have to shift your weight side to side, but you wanna minimize it as much as possible. Draw your elbow nice and high, tummy in, 12 on each arm. And relax. From here, just flip over, coming onto your back, and we've got alternating bicycles. I like to do these very specifically, like I do everything. <laughs> and I want you to first use your abs to contract yourself up, bring your knees in, extend one out, and let's swap. Swapping side to side. I want you to really keep your shoulders up off the ground. Really think about moving your shoulder over towards the knee. Even though your elbows are reaching, a big part of this is to rotate your upper shoulder girdle. Your whole upper body is twisting, okay? Really reach that elbow over to the knee. Use your breath. We've got 30 in total, so 15 on each leg, 30 in total. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Take a little break, take a short little rest, and then come back and join us when you're ready. Keep your shoulders up, 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 up. Really contract yourself up off the ground as much as you possibly can. Big contraction and relax. Bring your knees into your chest and you're gonna roll side to side. We have a short little rest right now, and then we're gonna go back and do these six exercises again. So take this moment right now and evaluate. How did that circuit feel? When we got down to the ground for Renegade Rose, were you feeling worked? Because you should, remember, this workout should be a hair slower because I really do want you using challenging weight loads. So if you're whipping through this workout at full speed, your weight loads are not heavy enough. From here, I want you to roll to your side. I want you to sit up. Just spend a moment sitting a few seconds to let your body recalibrate before we stand up. Please stay with me. You're gonna come over onto hands and knees, and then you're gonna tuck back into that crouched position. Rest for a moment. Stand up, lift your knees immediately. 
promise me, don't think you don't need this. Lift your knees. Anytime you're coming up off the ground, you lift your knees a few times. What it does is the muscular contraction in your legs is pushing the blood flow back up so that you don't get dizzy. We don't want blood pooling down in the legs and believe it or not, it's muscular tension that circulates your blood, not your heart. People think your heart is what is moving the blood through your body, it's not. It's the muscular tension that keeps that blood moving. Okay, second circuit, reverse lunges. Are you gonna go a little heavier? Are you gonna save some energy and go heavier on the dumbbell hammer curl? I want you to really challenge yourself on each and every exercise. Grab the weight load that's right for you for this exercise. You can definitely go body weight only if you want. And we've got 12 on each leg. Really keeping your mind focused on the front leg. Mind is focused on that front leg so that you are driving your energy, your focus, and your muscular contraction into that front heel so that it can really activate the glute and the hamstring. Tummy drawn in, chest is up. Standing nice and tall. You shouldn't be moving much faster than me. If you're moving faster than me, you need some bigger dumbbells, my friend, because the weight should slow you down. One more, we go into that dumbbell hammer curl. There's a good chance that the dumbbell you just used is gonna be perfect for this exercise as well. Chest is up, shoulders back. Give me that pause right here so that you are really squeezing through the biceps, increasing the time under tension. Shoulder blades back and down. <sighs> Neck is nice and long. Shoulder blades reaching towards your hips. <sighs> your heart rate should be up. This should not be easy. You should really have to be working for this. 12 reps, plie and press. You need one heavy dumbbell, or if you're limited by your dumbbells, you can grab two dumbbells here for this exercise. Toes are turned open, hips are wide. Soften those knees. You ready? We're gonna sit and press. And when you press, make sure you finish off by getting your hips underneath you. Hips straight up underneath you. Squeeze your glutes right there. Chest is up, squeeze those glutes. Ah, oh, doesn't that feel good? Ah, oh, so good for you. Dumbbell side raise will be next. Moderate dumbbells. If you're using a five pound dumbbell or less, you're gonna make sure you add the pause at the top of that dumbbell side raise. You ready? One more here. Let's go. Dumbbell side raise. Like I said, if you're using five pounds or less, you're gonna pause. Pause. Shoulders moving towards each other. Okay, that's called shoulder retraction. When you bring your shoulder blades moving inwards towards your spine, it's called shoulder retraction. Shoulders also pressing down towards your hips. Feels good, huh? Oh, so good, two more. And then we've got that beloved renegade row. You get to decide. You can literally just use military push-up and just pick up one hand. You can do it from here if you don't wanna do it with dumbbells. That's totally fine. Listen, this is a challenging exercise for anyone. So I want you to do it with good technique 
And if that means it's better for your body at your fitness level right now to do it without dumbbells, that's totally cool. Try to minimize the side to side shifting of your body weight. Tummy drawn in, abs nice and tight. in keep your spine nice and long 12 on each arm and like I said you can do this without dumbbells if you want one more each side are you ready we're going down for that alternating bicycle so we can get some good ab work in to round off this full body workout. Hands behind your head, lift your shoulders up, knees come in, cross it over. Here we go. Side to side, keeping your shoulders up. Trying to get your shoulders up off the ground as much as possible. Moving your shoulder blades over towards that knee, reaching, thinking about reaching with your whole upper body. Really get your shoulders off the ground. Lift up, lift up. If you feel like you need a break, that's great. Keep going until you need a break. If you need a break, take it. Otherwise, we're gonna be done in a moment and relax, bring your knees into your chest, rest. Let's roll side to side. Hopefully you need to catch your breath here for a moment. Hopefully you need a little rest, 20 to 30 seconds rest. Then if you want to do a third round of this circuit, go for it. And let's relax, I want you to roll over. Sit up, rest for a moment before you stand. Please rest for a moment before you stand. I wanna check our time. Oh good, we got some time. Guess what? Guess what we're gonna do next, you guys? We got time. You guys ready for a little bit more workout? Okay, come on and stand up. I want you to lift your knees. Are you ready? We are taking all 12 exercises and we are gonna put them together back to back in one big master circuit to round this baby off. You ready? We're going back to the top and we're gonna do the first six exercises. We're gonna go right into the second six exercises. So we got 12 exercises back to back without a rest in between. So grab a sip of water, get your dumbbells ready. We're going back to the first circuit, starting with that single leg deadlift. I'll walk you through. Okay, now I want you to really challenge yourself here. It's gonna be effortful in this circuit. Don't hold back. I want you to challenge yourself and if that means you gotta stop and take a little rest in between the exercises, that's fine. Let's do it. Dumbbells or none, let's go single leg deadlift. Going right back to the beginning. Okay, one leg is bent, here we go. Rotating forward and squeeze the glutes. We've got 12 exercises ahead of us. Really focus one at a time. If that feels in, uh, intimidating for you, just focus on the task at hand. And right now, what that means is you're thinking about this exercise and this one only. Drive that heel into the ground, squeeze your glute. Heel and glute. 12 reps. And let's go to the other leg finding a speed and a pace that is challenging, but that you can keep a steady, consistent pace throughout the exercise. As I've said two or three times already today, if you're moving faster than me, your weight load is not heavy enough. You should have to work to keep at my pace. 
Okay, now I've got some super fit people in this group who are using heavy weight loads and moving more quickly, and that's fine, but I definitely want you to feel that weight so that you really have to work with it. Cool? All right. Second exercise, grab your band. We've got that bent over band row. Band right under your feet, slight arch in your lower back. Row your handles to your rib cage. So you're pulling your hands straight to your rib cage, pulling your shoulder blades back and down. Really push your shoulders down towards your hips. Really keep your tummy drawn in. Shoulders back. Tummy drawn in. Keeping the arch in your lower back. 12 reps and then we're gonna go into alternating dumbbell overhead press. Moderate, maybe heavy dumbbells. Totally up to you, what's ever right for your fitness level and your energy today. Here we go, 12 on each arm. Use your breath. Tummy in. I want you to have to really feel that weight load of the dumbbell. Work against it, big push. How much are you loving this? L loving it. Goblet squat is next. You're gonna use a heavier dumbbell. You're ready. Couple more. And grab that heavier dumbbell for goblet squat. Now, goblet squat, the dumbbell stays in contact with your chest. Really important. Toes are definitely turned open, but your heels aren't super wide. Keep that dumbbell in contact with your chest, sit your hips down, and stand. You'll know you've got your goblet squat right when at the bottom right here, your elbows are right near your knees and your hips are below your knees. Now you might need a mirror to check that for yourself, to check your technique. But that's a perfect goblet squat. Hips are below the knees, chest is up, elbows are just inside the knees, and dumbbell is in contact with your chest. Overhead tricep extension if you're ready. Here we go. Moving right into tricep extension. Tummy drawn in. Shoulder blades down your back. <sighs> really extend. Think about letting that dumbbell come down and tap in between your shoulder blades so that that upper arm is pointing up to the ceiling and you've got a nice long line of that upper arm and lower arm dropping deeply here. One more, and we're going down to the ground for push-up, and you can always do it elevated, okay? Whatever works for you. It really, honestly, you're gonna get more out of your push-up if you do it the way that I teach. Your thumbs are just outside of your chest, okay? And then press away from the floor. Let's lift up. Here we go. Press, then lift. Press, then lift. Keep your tummy drawn in. Don't let your hips start to shift upwards in space. Don't let that happen. Okay. Keep a nice straight line from your shoulders all the way to your knees. Okay. And press. Tummy in, feels good, huh? Make your arms look awesome. One more, listen up, please. From here, shift back, bring your toes under you. Let's rock back and forth five or six times. 
we're gonna transition back up to our feet. And I need you to help facilitate this transition in your body. So from here, slowly stand up, immediately lift your knees six, seven, eight times. Make your intention for this next circuit. We're gonna start with that reverse lunge. You got six more exercises. So I want you to really challenge yourself here. Give yourself a push. Grab some heavier dumbbells. Let's go, reverse lunge. Feet together, soften the knees. Here we go. Focusing on that front heel. Chest is up. That back knee just gently taps, touches lightly, kisses the ground, okay? Just a little. Heart rate should be coming up. You should definitely feel this. How we doing? You should feel that weight load. One more each side. And relax. Keep that dumbbell. Shoulders pressing back. And hammer curl. Okay? If you need to keep your feet moving, you can just march in place if your heart rate's super high. Going right into that dumbbell hammer curl with a pause. Make sure you've got your shoulder blades moving back in space towards each other. Imagine you have a pencil trapped but between your shoulder blades along the line of your spine and you gotta hold it there with your shoulder blades. Two more. Keep that heavier dumbbell. Plie and press. This time, heels are turned open wider. This is the wider, widest your feet will ever be for a leg exercise, okay? And this is about as wide as they would be, maybe a hair wider if you were doing something like a sumo deadlift, okay? So really, feet don't ever go much wider than this on a strength exercise. Big reach. Squeeze those glutes right there. Oh, it's good. Big reach. If you're ahead of me, you're gonna do dumbbell side raise next. Two more, big reach. Okay, you ready? Dumbbell side raise. Moderate dumbbells here, okay? Not heavy, moderate. If you're using more than five pounds, you're not gonna pause. You're gonna come up and go right back down, okay? Shoulder blades really anchored in and down towards each other. Pausing right there. Next exercise, renegade row with or without dumbbells, whatever feels right for you in this moment. Come on down, stepping back into a full upper plank, anchoring yourself down and pulling that dumbbell to your rib cage. Tummy in. Shifting your weight as you need to, but minimizing it as much as possible. Cool. One more each side. And 
down to the ground, on your back, alternating bicycles. Use your abs to contract your shoulders up off the ground, knees in, crossover, here we go. Swap and swap. Remember, 15 on each leg here, 30 in total. Really reaching shoulder blade towards that knee. Big lift, lift. Such a great, this is one of my absolute favorite ab exercises. If you've ever joined me for one of my group coaching programs or something like the Glutes Project or any of my other paid programming, you know this exercise shows up a lot. This exercise is almost always, almost always in a workout. I love it. So good. 30 in total. We're almost there. When you're done, rest with your knees at your chest. You ready? Here we go. Ah, you did it. Rock those knees side to side. Congratulations, you did it. There's always that moment when you're like, oh my gosh, can I do 12 repetitions or 12 sets in a row? Ooh, that's gonna be hard, especially if you already did three sets. <laughs> so if you're watching this in playback, one of the things I love about this workout is you could do three rounds of each circuit and then do one big monster circuit of all of them so that you get four sets of each exercise. Pull one knee into your chest. Just relax for the stretch. And release, same on the other side. And from here, relax. Let's have you roll onto one side and sit up. Now, when you sit up, I want you to just kind of end where you would naturally end when you sit up with one leg bent out to the side, one leg bent in front. You're gonna reach up and you're gonna lean over towards the leg that's bent outward. Okay, lift your chest, just gently leaning over. You're gonna feel a stretch through your side and through this hip. Oh, doesn't that feel great? This is like the world's second greatest stretch. <laughs> For those of you that know me, I've coined an exercise, the world's greatest stretch. This is the world's second greatest stretch. I'm gonna start a new playlist. <laughs> Relax, switch sides, where it's like all of my greatest stretches in order. This is number two for sure. Reach up, come into that side bend. Oh, love that, enjoy that. Sink heavy into this hip so that you get that compression and that stretch on this hip. Big reach. Now listen, if you're watching this in playback and you wanna join us live, join me and my friends off camera here every Saturday for a live workout. Just come over to hollyperkins.com forward slash free workout. Put your email in, you'll get a notification from me and you can join us live so that you can stick around for the workout after the workout. And if you have any questions or if you just wanna meet and say hello, we do that after the workout. And relax from here, I want you to take a big inhale up. Exhale it out. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale up. Exhale it out. Thank you so much for joining me for the workout and I will see you next time. Have a great day.